the Asian Palm Civet. Hero! Hero! It's dinner time! Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of an animal. I'm not sure what it is. Hi, Leo. I'm also not sure what it is, but I like the patterns on its fur. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, watch over our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat. But it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet. So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have an Asian palm civet with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to find a home for it. The Asian palm civet is a nocturnal animal. That means it rests in the day and is awake at night. The Asian palm civet likes to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So if you want to find a home for the civet, you should look for palm trees. But remember, Junior Rangers, some farmers see civets as pests, so stay away from plantations. Plantations? A plantation is a large area of land on which fruit, trees, and plants are grown to be sold. The civet might sneak into plantations and eat the fruits from the trees, and the farmers don't like that. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are some wild palm trees. And on this side are even more palm trees. But they are inside a fence. 
and there's a sign that says Sugar Palm Plantation. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some wild palm trees, and over there are palm trees on a plantation. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the wild palm trees because Asian palm civets are not welcome on plantations. Let's go! Oh no! Come back, civet! It's going to another plantation! We better go after it. Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea. Ugh, this place smells! The smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me! Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There, on the ground. That's not our civet, it's a wild boar. Poor boar. I don't think it deserved that. There you are. You got us worried. Great. We found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the jeep. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Asian palm civets often choose the tallest tree in the area to rest in after a night of hunting. So if you want to find a home for the Asian palm civet, just look for the tallest tree you can find. Not for coffee to grind, or a granny that's kind, but look for the tallest tree you can find. I see. So not for coffee to grind, or a granny that's kind, but, but look, look for, for the, the tallest, tallest tree, tree we can find. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find a home for the civet, you have to look for the tallest tree you can find. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the tallest tree around. Is that the tallest tree we can find? No, it's a fallen tree. Let's keep going. Is that the tallest tree we can find? Hmm, no. That tree might even be the shortest tree around. So let's continue. So is that the tallest tree we can find? Yes, it is. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Clouded Leopard. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Oh this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. 
See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock. I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Katie, are you there? We found a spotted cat in the garden that can climb trees really well. Hi, Leo. I've received the photo. That sure is a nice looking cat. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great, and coming up, Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the tree house. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing. What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a rare friend with you today. Why is it rare, Ranger Rocky? Clouded leopards are rare because not many of them are left in the wild, and they are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible! Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because their homes in the forest are cut down for human use. They are also hunted for their patterned fur. You should look for the cub's mother. She can keep it safe. Look for tall trees with lots of shade. That's where the clouded leopard hides. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are some short trees, and on this side, are a lot of tall trees with leaves and shade. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some short trees. And over there are a lot of tall trees with shade. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to a place with lots of tall trees with shade because clouded leopards prefer to hide in them. Let's go! It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. (laughs) 
Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. <coughs> oh no! The cub is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? <coughs> Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub! We have to save it, but we can't get there. This should work. Let's go! Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. What to do? I'll take this. Great, Leo. Just in time. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the clouded leopard's mother, just look for rustling leaves. Not for naughty thieves or buzzing bees, but look for rustling leaves. I see. So not for naughty thieves or buzzing bees, but, but look, look for, for rustling, rustling leaves. leaves. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the mother of the clouded leopard cub, you have to look for rustling leaves. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be its mother. Did you hear that? Could it be the cub's mother? Hmm. This animal has stripes on its fur. It's a tiger. Let's continue. Did you hear some rustling leaves? Can it be the cub's mother? Yikes, that's a snake. Better keep looking. Is that the cub's mother? It has the same cloud-like spots. It must be the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! found a clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Wow! What are these birds, Kai? No idea, Zuri, but they're perfect for my new web video. Whoa, isn't that a bit too close? Don't worry. I've set the Chimer 1000 to silent mode. The birds won't even know it's there. <gasps> oh, no! Hover boots, activate! Kai, watch out! Huh? Whoa! Ah. Hi! Are you okay? Ugh. I'm fine. What about the bird? I'm not sure. We should call someone for help. Sit, hero. And fetch. Good boy. 
Katie, I'm sure Hero is gonna win the best dog tricks video contest. But Leo, these tricks are so ordinary. Wouldn't most dogs be able to do them? <laughs> Hero isn't just any ordinary dog, he's an extraordinary dog. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. Kai and I were following some birds, but one of them crashed into a window and fell on a ledge. Oh, no. Is it hurt? It keeps making these loud calls, but we're not sure why. Hmm. I've never seen this bird before. Me neither. I'll try looking for more information on my computer. Don't hang up yet, Zari. Hey, Katie, wait for me. See you later, hero. <laughs> see what type of bird it is. It's a common red shank. Red shanks can easily be recognized by their long, bright orange-red legs. They're migratory birds. During winter, they fly from Europe and Siberia to warmer countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Red shanks get nervous easily. They make sharp, high-pitched calls when they feel disturbed. The red shank must be really scared after its fall. We have to get it off that ledge. We'll go over to help. Ranger out. Let's rescue that common red shank. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Guys, you made it! Jetpack, activate! Gotcha! You're safe now! It doesn't seem to be injured. Why is it still making loud calls? Maybe it's nervous. Shh. It's okay. Listen, I'll play a nice, soothing song for you. <coughs> You're scaring the red shank. Oops, sorry. Maybe the red shank will feel less nervous if it has a friend. Don't worry. You're not alone. See, there's another red shank here. Maybe the red shank is a little confused and has forgotten how to fly. I can teach you how to fly. Just flap your wings like this. <laughs> Go, red you shank! You can do it! Go, hi, red hi. shank! This isn't working. Maybe we should just bring the red shank to the mangroves ourselves. Great idea, Katie. To the mangroves! Sorry, Hero, but you'll have to wait for us here. I hear more red shanks. Here you go. Greetings, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I've been recording the calls of the red shanks. They make excellent alarms. Hey, what's the red shank doing? Good question, Leo. I'm sure my friend Ranger Joey, the ranger who's no stranger to soothing ruffled feathers, can tell us more. Hello, Ranger Joey. <coughs> Hi, Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. There's a red shank that keeps dipping its bill into the mud. Can you tell us what it's trying to do? Hmm. Ah, it must be looking for food. Red shanks like to eat clams, shrimps, small crabs, snails, and fishes that are found in these muddy areas. See, during winter, it is very cold and difficult for red shanks to find food. And that's why they come to countries like Singapore, where it's warm and there's lots of food. People who study the common red shanks attach special tags to some of these birds. 
This way, they can study how the birds make their journeys here. They discovered that many of the red shanks use a route called the East Australasian Flyway, which is the world's largest migratory route. The birds move from the Arctic Circle, which is at the top of the world, all the way down as far as Australia, and then back up again when winter is over. Oh, and there is also a new study that shows the red shanks using another route to Singapore, and that is the Central Asian Flyway. This journey involves traveling across a very long mountain range known as the Himalayas, which has some of the highest mountains in the world. Wow, thanks for the information, Ranger Joey. You're welcome. Ranger out. Ranger out. The red shank is resting on a rock, so it must be full now. There's something strange about that rock. <gasps> It's a crocodile! <gasps> the red shank needs help! Thanks for saving the red shank, hero! Great job! Uh-oh! The other birds are still in trouble! Ranger Rocky, use this to distract the crocodile! This way, crocodile! Fetch! Phew! That was close! Now all the red shanks are safe. Woohoo! It's a wrap. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got the common red shank to the mangroves. Hero? Great job, Hero. We'll definitely win the contest now. <laughs> Hero really is extraordinary. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi, Junior Rangers. You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call the authorities. Reach out to these agencies for assistance. Here are their numbers. Support Singapore's wildlife agencies by donating to their causes or becoming a volunteer. Check out these links. Ranger out! <laughs>